Welcome back everyone, Dirch here, and I am talking about Zane's skill tree today. I'm going to start my skill tree reviews, at least my first impressions and kind of thoughts about them. These have been out for a bit, and I was going to use some of my footage that I had, but uh, it just works better to be able to look at the whole skill trees and talk about synergies. So as of now, this is the best skill or uh, best tool we have for these trees. It's not the most beautiful website yet. I'm sure they're going to make it a lot prettier as it goes on. Uh, and get access to high-res images and all that stuff. But for now, this is our uh, skill tree builder, and the functionality is all there, and that's the important thing. So Zane is different than uh, Borderlands Vault Hunters of the past because he can use two action skills. One uses the action skill button, and one takes over the grenade button. He does use, lose the ability to throw grenades, but there are skills in the double agent tree that make up for that. However, I'm going to go left to right and start with the undercover tree. Before I dig into that tree, though, let's just look at his three action skills. Barrier, uh, you drop the deployable barrier that blocks incoming projectiles. Uh, Zane and allies can shoot through it, dealing increased gun damage. Um, while the barrier is active, pick up and hold the barrier, but the size bonuses are decreased. So you can kind of like pick it up and move it with you. Um, it lasts for 9 seconds. The cooldown is 18 seconds. And uh, amp damage plus 20%. Um, so this one I did not use. And a lot of people really loved it. And there's a lot of cool synergies with it. The other one is the Sentinel. Which is a drone similar to Wilhelm's. Uh, sent into battle an automated Sentinel drone that continuously flies through the environment and attacks enemies with its machine guns. Pressing LB or RB on the controller while it is active causes it to attack the enemy uh, under Zane's crosshairs, if any are under his crosshairs. Uh, machine gun damage is 10 to start with. It scales up. Uh, it lasts for 24 seconds, and it's got a 36-second cooldown. So it is a longer-lasting, kind of like Axton's turrets, where this is more like a phase lock. And then you have his Digi Clone, which is again like turret duration, kind of, not quite, but around there. Uh, spawn a Digi Clone of Zane. The clone stays in place but distracts and fires at enemies. Uh, press LB or RB on the controller while the clone is active, causes Zane and the clone to swip, switch places. So that's your action skill button. So whatever one it's uh, mapped to, you can map one to LB or RB. Um, the switching places is really sweet. Uh, Zane's got a lot of movement stuff, and I'll get to that when I get to that tree. But, without further ado, Adrenaline. So, Adrenaline is sweet. Uh, so, I'm just going to go one at a time. Uh, Zane gains increased action skill cooldown rate based on the amount of shield he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. So, I don't love these... Skills that are like dependent on like shield and health. Zane does have a lot of them, uh, but I like Zane a lot. Now, this whole tree almost seems to synergize around this one skill. So when you max this out, 20% cooldown rate on tier 1. That's crazy. Now, your shield isn't always going to be full, so you're not always going to get that full 20%. But that's a fucking nuts first tier skill, and it's probably boostable. So up to 40%. So this is going to keep your action skills out there constantly. So the next one is max shield percent. Um, that doesn't really help this at all, but it uh, is a shield skill tree, kind of, or a survival skill tree. So uh, shield percent is a thing. Now, the action skill itself will help you keep your shield full because it's out there. All right, next. Zane gains improved shield recharge rate and recharge delay. Both of those drastically help your shield stay full so you get better cooldown. Now, I can actually back up a little bit. Some of you might say, well, Dirch, if your barrier's out, you can't decrease the cooldown because it's on duration. That's true, but he has two action skills. So you can increase the cooldown of his, or decrease the cooldown of the Sentinel or the Digi Clone. By putting this out to make sure your shield stays full and you can get those other two which have longer cooldowns out faster so it does work um next is brain freeze this is sweet i'm so excited about this um i love this skill tree 
Whenever Zane scores a critical hit on an enemy, there is a chance they will be slowed. So Lilith had a daze skill in Borderlands 1. When she shot enemies, she could slow them. It was massive because when the enemies are slowed, it's harder for them to hit you, which means you can survive a lot better and take them out so much easier. And 12.5% is not huge, and it's only on crits. So it's not like it's broken, but if you can boost this, I'm definitely going to boost that to get up to 25% and uh, just slow enemies like crazy, and then I can go around and take care of business. And because they're slowed, again, guess what's going to be full? My shield and my cooldowns. Uh, stiff upper lip. Whenever Zane is damaged, he gains damage resistance against the damage type. 15%, that's not bad. Um, again, going to make them a lot more durable. Nothing to complain about here. Good survival. And it's dynamic. So whatever he's getting hit with. So if like a boss is like all shock damage, you're just going to be resistant to shock damage. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Uh, this one, Zane gains health regeneration. The lower his shield is, the higher the bonus. It's kind of the opposite of uh, Axton's got one like this. Uh, while Zane's shields are full, he does not receive any health regeneration. Um, so that's kind of counterintuitive to that other stuff, but your health, your shield's always going to be getting nicked. So you're not always going to get the full bonus of this, but you're going to get part of it, and then you can get health when you really need it. Uh, I don't know, 5% five, is five actually pretty solid. That recharges pretty fast. I mean, you think Jack had some skills like that. You boost this up to 10%. That's uh, That's insane. So, yeah, this could be pretty powerful. Uh, especially if you're using an amp shield. You can just constantly make sure you're healing. That's that's actually kind of interesting. And I bet there's going to be some cool red text amp shields. Not the B, but other ones. Uh, next, confident competence. Well, Zane's shields are active. He gains increased gun damage and accuracy. Uh, the bonus based on the amount of shield he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. So it's another one of those... And the bonuses here are kind of weak for a game changer. 10% uh, gun damage is not much. 22% accuracy is really nice. But it depends on how full your shields are. So these bonuses look a little underwhelming to me. I'm not going to lie. Next one. Elemental damage over time effects applied to Zane have reduced duration. Um, this is pretty huge for survival for one point. This seems like a no-brainer. Uh, <clears throat> dots are dangerous, and dots are more powerful in Borderlands 3 than they were in 2, maybe not 1, but they're a lot more powerful than they were in 2 or TPS, and that means if they're more powerful towards the enemies, they'll be more powerful towards us, which I definitely experienced that in the demo. So reducing the duration by 50% is a massive deal, especially combined with stiff upper lip where you're going to be resistant to those dots. Um... The dots are going to last half as long. That's huge for survival, but also if the dots are taking half as long, your shield can come back that much faster, which means cooldowns. Synergy, baby. Best served cold. Whenever Zane kills an enemy, they create a cryonova, dealing damage to all nearby enemies. This skill has a short cooldown. This is fucking cool. Uh, freezing enemies when you kill enemies... So as long as you can group up enemies, you can keep freezing them. So between your slow and your freeze, enemies aren't going to be really attacking you that great. This is offering a lot of crowd control along with survival, which is brilliant. Because crowd control is survival. That's one of like Maya's best survival uh, tactics is like converge and phase lock. And you know I use the quasar to throw people around even more. If enemies can't attack you, you can survive. So these are very awesome. And again, all this again goes back to helping your cooldown. Zane gains resistance to non-elemental damage. Uh, and then a kill skill on top of that is all elemental damage Zane takes is converted to non-elemental damage. Um, so basically, yeah, you get 22% uh, Resistance to non-elemental damage, and if someone hits you with fire, 
it counts as non-elemental, which does less to you and probably can't create a dot on you. Again, making you a hell of a lot more survivable, and that's very cool. Uh, next is whenever Zane damages a frozen enemy with his weapon, he gains some of that damage back as health. 24% lifesteal, so that's a really high number lifesteal. Um, but keep in mind, the scaling in this game is softer, so lifesteal as a percentage might not be as powerful as it was with Borderlands 2 more aggressive scaling. So the lifesteal numbers might have to be a little bit bigger to equal out to what like life tap and some of those were, because life tap maxed out as 12. Um, now this is only when he damages a frozen enemy, but he's got plenty of ways to freeze enemies, so I don't see that as a concern. And there's only three points to get up to 24, that's a steal. Next, calm, cool, and collected. Whenever Zane freezes an enemy, his shields instantly begin recharging. So you kill an enemy, there's one less enemy to attack you, his buddies are frozen, your shield recharges. This is awesome. But then in addition to that, if Zane's shield's already full, he regenerates health for a few seconds. And he's going to regenerate more health because he's going to be killing a guy and then freezing him. And then he's got this, and they're frozen, so he got life steal and that. And then if his health is already full, which it should feel really fast, his action skill cooldowns and durations are reset. Holy fuck. This is powerful. Like, super powerful. Now, the duration is only 3 seconds, and the regeneration is only 4%, but with all these looping together, this seems like it's going to proc a lot. Therefore, Zane can constantly just keep his action skills out. Nerves of Steel. Zane gains increasing accuracy in handling. The longer his shield is full, the greater the bonus. This is another one. Uh, I don't like these longer. The shield is full, the best the bonus. Um, so yeah, accuracy, 6% per second. Handling, 7.5 per second up to 99 seconds you can max it out at. I don't know. And do they disappear as soon as you get hit? They just go down to zero and then you got to start over? I, I don't I don't love it. Maybe in gameplay it'll turn out to be sweet, but uh, I don't know. There's just too many ways to get nicked and stuff. I, I don't think it's going to be that great. But if it does, there's some shotgun builds with this because this accuracy and that accuracy... Could add up to a ton. Alright, so the capstone. Zane's barrier gains the effects of his currently equipped shield mod. Additionally, shield effects are applied to allies near the barrier. Bonuses to Zane are reduced. So, I don't know what they mean, bonuses to Zane are reduced. Uh, are the bonuses from his personal shield reduced as he shares them? Um, I'm not sure. But, sharing your shield ability with your deployable shield is kind of ridiculous. And sharing it with your friends. So, like, imagine if one of your teammates is wearing a turtle shield, and you have an absorb shield on, like, the sham or something with a super high absorb chance. You have a super tanky shield that's also absorbing, so it's not taking damage. Like, that'll be so hard to break. And your barrier can absorb bullets, or you can get amp shields, or if you put a turtle shield on, and the special effect is like bigger capacity, does that mean you have a bigger capacity on your barrier? There's a lot to break down there, um, and see how it works. And there's going to be new cool effects we haven't seen yet. I mean, imagine, like, your barrier is an antagonist. How crazy would that be? I mean, there's so many cool synergies to this, um, like, uh... Even like an impaler or a meteor shower, and I don't know. There's a lot of cool things here. I'm super pumped, but what I really love is all the synergies here. Now, I didn't talk about the uh, equipable items here. So these you don't spend skill points on. You can just equip them. So if you, once you get down to this tier, you can equip this onto this action skill. So uh, each action skill can equip two, I believe. And... So on his barrier, it can become a dome covering all sides. This one's very popular. That way it's uh, you know covering you from all angles, much more powerful. Or 
Enemies that touch the barrier take shock, damage, and are staggered. That's also pretty sweet. Um, charge relay. Whenever Zane or an ally touches the barrier, they get increased movement, ski, speed, and fire rate for a few seconds. Um, fire rate, 13%. Movement speed, 11. Duration, 8 seconds after moving away from the barrier. That's not bad. Um, nanites or some shite. Zane and his allies gain health regeneration, increased reload speed, and greatly improve shield recharge delay while near his barrier. The lower the health, the more health is regenerated. So up to 4% of max health per second, I believe. Um, shield recharge delay, 33%. Oh, we're a bit of light here. And reload speed, 11%. That is ridiculous. Um, especially when you stack the recharge delay with this. 40% and 33%. And if you can boost this, I mean, you're talking 80 and 33. I mean, your shields are going to be so fast. That's going to be sweet. I really like this one. And redistribution. redistribution. Um, Zayn and his allies near the barrier gain increased gun damage for a few seconds after the barrier takes damage. Um, so the barrier is going to be taking damage if you're behind it. And... The gun damage is only 9%, but it's there. So one thing I've noticed looking through these trees, the the damage, like the insane massive damage boosts are gone, but instead it's like really interesting, powerful effects like cryo the enemies, slowing the enemies. There aren't like these massive, massive damage boosts that we saw in like Borderlands 2 in the pre-sequel. So it look, looks like they might be kind of redoing the formula a little bit. So come on. Why won't you reset? There we go. So if I'm working down this tree, it's tough. So I'm definitely getting this cooldown. I definitely want that, but I definitely want this. I don't need that one. So I don't love those. This is super powerful. So I forgot, this isn't a one-skill tier, so you have to spend five points to move past here. You can't just click that one. Uh, so this one, I, mean, I definitely want this. Uh, I think I want that. But I also really want this. I don't care about the damage on this, though. Those, so this might be like a one-point wonder. I just want the Nova to freeze them. I don't care about the damage of the Nova. So I might go there and there. And then I can spend a few points. Let's go here. So now this tier, I got to spend five to get down. So you can get most of this. So I definitely want Calm, Cool, and Collected. Uh, I definitely want that Life Steal. And I'm not sure about that. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to skip this. I'm going to finish off of this. So I think this would be my skill tree. Um... If I'm getting down here. Now, it's early on. We haven't actually had a chance to play with this stuff, so I can be way off. But I think I would have put the all-rounder on there to make sure, like, you know, enemies were flanking me a lot in the demo. So I want to be able to, like, get into combat, put that up, and not get flanked. And then I think the nanites, just to keep everything going there, the reload speed is nice. But just to keep my cooldowns low so I can keep my other one out. I think that's be that would be how I would probably spec that tree at first glance. So next, let's talk about the Sentinel tree. So this is the drone. This thing got work done in the demo. I used this. The targeting was sweet. I could put it on whoever I wanted. And it kept enemies off me. And if enemies are distracted by this, I can keep my shield full and get cooldown. So, yeah, the Sentinel is definitely awesome. I liked it better than Wilhelm's drones, to be honest. Uh, and this tree, this is like your kill skill. This is almost like Jack's kind of center tree, but not quite. Um, and there's a lot of movement speed in here. So, keep in mind, I, I can slow enemies and freeze enemies and drastically increase my movement speed. That's a big deal. Because you can move faster, you can switch places with your clone, and it's going to be really hard for enemies to lock you down, and I think that's a really fun play style. So, like, zero players that liked hybrid, like Gun Zero, might really like playing Zane here. 
uh because all the, like the movement stuff and all that so yeah movement speed plus 20 percent big bonus duration eight seconds pretty cool i like it boosted up to 40 percent. that's serious movement speed um so the next one is swap speed another five pointer three five pointers in the first tier that's odd um so yeah, increase weapon swap speed. The next shot fired after swapping weapons deals bonus cryo damage. So swap speed plus 75%, that's a big deal. Bonus cryo damage, so you're adding 30% cryo splash to your guns. That's also a big deal. This skill is super freaking powerful. And then the next one, violent momentum. Zane's gun damage is increased while moving. The quicker he moves, the greater the gun damage. So at regular walk speed, 30% gun damage. Now, I don't know if it exceeds that when you get bonus movement speed. So this is something we're going to have to test. If it can, holy crap, that's some power, especially tier one. I mean, you think about this, 30% at regular walk speed. A lot of times you're like walking and strafing as you're shooting. If you can boost this, fuck, that's going to be, that's pretty powerful. Um, cool hand. Zane gains increased reload speed after killing an enemy. Uh, Zane's reload speed is increased for a few seconds. So normally it's a 10% boost to reload speed. After a kill, it's plus 15%. I don't think it's plus 5% to bring it to 15. I think it's plus additional 15. So regular, it's 10%. After a kill, it's 25%. Um, not fantastic, especially with some of the reload bonuses that Zero had in Borderlands 2. But 25% reload speed after a kill is pretty solid. Uh, you're killing pretty fast, so most of the time you're going to have uh, 25%. But, yeah, it, I don't know. The bonuses seem low there. I'm not going to lie. Uh, drone delivery. Sentry will occasionally drop a free grenade based on your current grenade mod while attacking enemies. So, because it's based on your current grenade, this isn't dropping a grenade ammo. It's your drone just dropping whatever grenade you have equipped, and then it hits the enemies. It goes off. Uh, so, that's pretty sweet. So, you, if you do the two action skills, you know, you can't throw grenades, but every 15 seconds, your drone will drop a grenade as long as you have one in your inventory. Um, that's pretty sweet. I think it's as long as you have one in your inventory. I'm not sure, but that's the way I remember seeing it before. Sometimes these sites are missing a few things. Uh, salvation. After killing an enemy, Zane's weapons gain lifesteal for a few seconds. So 20% damage, lifesteal, this high up in the tree. Again, um, life tap, which is super powerful, is... Wait, no, it's... Isn't life tap 6% and you boost it and it goes up to 12? Because you boost it, you get to the ruby. So, again, I think the lifesteal numbers have to be higher in this game because of the way the scaling works. Um, but life steal this high is pretty sweet. So if you don't, if you're not going like into the outer cover tree, you still have some really super nice uh, survival right here, which is ridiculous. But you'd stack this on top of like refreshment and then the brain freeze and all the cryo, making it easy to. Yeah, it's powerful. Um, this is going to be really interesting. So activating an action skill automatically activates all of Zane's kill skills. So this isn't quite as good as Jack whenever his digis die. It's a kill skill because they die so fast, like even when you move. But um, later on, Zane does have, where is it, a way to cancel his action skill. I think it's right here. Yeah. So you can end your action skill early, and then the... Uh, it does more damage, and I think the cooldown is usually reduced when you do those things. And then you have all this cooldown reduction. And with two action skills, I think you're going to be able to keep your kill skills out almost all the time. And you can activate them on bosses that do not have um, uh, adds or minions or whatever you want to call them. So this is ridiculously powerful. And it's going to get more powerful as I go down. But it's, it's a synergy. So not even within the trees, like... Across trees, you know, you have these synergies. Um, like I said, this cryo stuff here with your cryo stuff here. It's it's just so synergistic. I love it. These are so smart. Um, violent violence. <laughs> I love that. 
After killing an enemy, Zane gains increased fire rate for a few seconds, uh, 20%. So again, some of these bonuses don't seem as big as they were in Borderlands 2 in the pre-sequel. But I, I think it's all kind of balanced around where the game is now, which is fine. It, it's hard to compare across games. But um, again, increased fire rate, 20% is a solid number. Again, a lot of these are going to be boostable. You know, you boost it up to 40%. That's pretty nice. Yes, it's a kill skill, but as we just talked about, Zane between... It's not that hard for him to kill a lot, and then seeing red is going to make it easy to get kill skills active. <clears throat> next is playing dirty. After killing an enemy, his next five shots all have a chance to fire additional projectiles. Um, yeah. So I don't know if this is like a bullet split, or it's more like two fang. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we couldn't get this deep in the trees during the demo. But either way, that's pretty powerful. And again, if you boost it, it's 100%, which is ridiculous. So like any pistol becomes a two for a pistol. That's pretty damn good. Or just, you know, fi faster fire rate if it works like two fang. Either way, this is ridiculously good. Yeah, so much good. Next is... Killing an enemy increases Zane's action skill duration. Uh, the skill has diminishing returns. So this is kind of like Jack had a skill that uh, every time his Jacks died, the duration went up. Or every time he got a kill. I forgot how it works now. But he could just kind of keep them out so long. And then he could cancel them and kind of get his cooldown back. Um, so yeah, this can keep your action skills longer. So this could counteract with seeing red. But if you can cancel... You can keep one out for longer and just keep putting your like clone out faster. So you can keep your shield out longer and just keep kind of looping your doc doppelbanger <laughs> um, to keep your skills going. But that eight seconds you don't have to worry about because down here, duration plus four seconds. This is such sweet capstone. So all of Zane's kill skills gain increased effect and duration. So when I was saying like some of these numbers don't look that great, when you apply 40% to them, they kind of do. Uh, it's a big difference. And going from 8 to 12 seconds, also a big deal. Um, that's a huge deal. You know, it's increasing your duration by 50%. So with seeing red and killing people, it's going to be really easy to like keep kill skills just active. But you start to look at these numbers now. So this is a kill skill. Movement speed 20%. Well... Here you got 40%, so 40% of 10 is 4, 20 is 8, so that's 28% movement speed. If you boost it to 10 out of 5, 56% movement speed. Holy fuck. I gotta stop saying that word, it's gonna be demonetized. Uh, I don't think this was kill skill, no. So, killing an enemy, again, 28% boosted, 56% lifesteal, are you kidding me? That's gonna be the only survival skill you need if you can boost it. And it'll last for 12 seconds. That's nuts. Um, reload speed. Again, this one. Uh, the regular one wouldn't change. About 15% would be increased by 6. So 21%. Plus the 10, 31%. Now we're talking better. You know, so all these. Again, fire rate, 20. Now it's going to be 28. Um, this one. Yeah. You're going to get that over. You could boost this to over 100%. That's ridiculous. And, yeah, so this super powerful uh, really synergizes with all this. So let's look at these quick. So this converts Sentinel's primary weapons to cryo damage. Synergy! Um, again, uh, best serve cold. That's cryo, but this is that big one, as well as the cryo lifesteal, and just enemies not moving. They're frozen, so you can just go to town. I mean, this this looks so good. Um, bad dose uh, radiation. Um, so 3% per enemy, more movement speed. Yeah. So you can weaken your enemies with radiation and buff Zane. I mean, that's pretty sweet. And you think about this, per enemy. So you can go out and radiate all the enemies because you can target them with your Sentinel and then just stack these buffs and kill everyone. 
Now, Athena had some stuff like that, and it just turned out better just to kill an enemy, kill an enemy, kill an enemy, rather than, like, irradiate all of them, then go around and killing them. So this might be like that. I might not love this. And then you have Booms Day. Uh, Sentinel adds a rocket pod to its primary weapons, allowing it to shoot rockets, as well as its machine guns. So this is normally 10 damage. This is 50, and it scales up. Depends how these scalings go. It is more damage, and there's not a ton of damage in all this so far. Um, there is increased DPS through fire rate, uh, the extra shots, um, all the cryo, the cryo splash. But there's not just a lot of straight gun damage yet. That's where like this one is big and a few others. So this one might be a big deal to get out more DPS. Um, static field. Sentinel emits a static field that sends a shock beam to nearby enemies draining their shields and replenishing zane so that's cool so you drain theirs replace yours and also by replacing yours you are reducing your cooldown better and keeping your stuff out so if your drone's out and something else isn't this can help you get your other ones back faster and almighty ordinance hold down lb or rb whichever one is the drone while well, Sentinel is deployed to paint the target area, Sentinel fires a missile barrage at that area, and if an enemy is killed, uh, the duration is reset. Uh, this can only be used once per action skill use. So missile damage 25, 5 missiles per barrage. That's 125 damage. When this is normally 10. We'll see how this actually works in play for the amount of damage. Uh, so it'll be interesting, you know, are you going damage or some other some other option? But all this so far, insane, crazy good synergy. This skill tree is really hard because I want all of it. Um, I think this is a must-have here. I really want that grenade, but I think this is a must-have. This is definitely a must-have. So then, do I put four points in something or one here and three in another? The reload, the movement speed. I think I need the gun damage because he doesn't have a lot. So this one, it depends how they work. But I'm just going to go with fire rate because I like to crit. And if I'm going to go over here and get that crit, if this works like, uh, not like two thing, but like a two for a pistol, it reduces your accuracy, getting the extra shot side by side. Um, so until I know how that works, I would pick this. And then we have misfortune. Yeah, I want my, those out longer. So I got to spend a few more points to get down there. I'm going to take this grenade. And we get a little bit of movement speed. So that would be that tree. And hopefully I can kind of get some more points in here. Actually, never mind. I would actually, I would not put it here. I'd just finish off this for now. But I do want that movement speed. So it'll, it'll be interesting how these builds come together. They're tough choices. Now the last one, the double agent. This is your digi clone tree. So here is whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased gun damage for each active action skill. This, I think, is going to be a must-have. So it's only 10%, but it's per active skill. So if you have both of them out, 20% gun damage. He does not have a lot of gun damage yet, so I think this is going to be a big deal, uh, along with Violent Momentum. Um, increased magazine size for you and your clone. Uh, 12% at 3 out of 3 is not bad. Also, keep in mind, again, you boost this, it can be up to 40%. And 40% is a pretty big number for an additive. So, Zane gains increased action skill duration for every active action skill. So, if you have two action skills, it's 20% more duration per active skill. That's crazy, especially if you combine it with good misfortune. You can keep your action skills out a long time, which means, you know, seeing red might not work as well, but now you have kind of a choice of how you're going to build that. And that's, to me, is very interesting. Um, Donnie Brook, this is the Irish tree. <laughs> Whenever Zane kills an enemy, he and his Digi clone receive increased gun damage and gain health regeneration for a few seconds. Um, gun damage plus 10%. Uh, health regen 2.5 and duration 8 seconds. Now this, keep in mind, could be affected by, or will be affected by this if you have it. 
Uh, I think this is going to be the tree that ties them together. Like, you can kind of go Hitman plus double agent or Hitman on their cover, but I think you're going to want Hitman down here. Um, but these boosts then, you know, 14% damage, health regeneration, um, and you share it with your clone, which is a big deal. The Digi clone, or the next one, Fractal Frags, Digi clone throws a copy of Zane's current grenade bod when it's first activated. If the Digi clone is killed, it drops a free grenade, uh, killing an enemy uh, while it's active gives it a chance to throw it. So this one, you can just get your grenades out there. And if you're specting these two trees, the drone can too, so you can get plenty of grenades. Although you got to be careful the drone doesn't drop it on you. <clears throat> so, duct tape mod. The first shot fired from Zane's gun has a chance to also fire a grenade. The more grenades in his capacity, the higher the chance. Um, that's cool. More ways to get out grenades. So, RNG dependent, but very cool. So, quick breather. Actually, also on this... If you're going to do, like, Jacob's shotguns with Zane, which are, like, two shot, or they might not be two shots in this game, but something like a Jacob shotgun in Borderlands 2, where it's, like, shoot, shoot, reload, shoot, shoot, reload, you have more of a chance to throw your grenades out a lot faster. And that could kind of be, like, a build, especially because he's got a bunch of accuracy stuff over here. Um, and, like, the violent momentum, like, usually with a shotgun build, you're moving a lot. Zane's got a lot of movement shenanigans. Um, so yeah, that could be a cool kind of build, actually. Is like, yeah, Jacob's coach gun kind of shoot, shoot, reload, sp spam your grenades. So yeah, quick breather. Whenever he swaps places with his clone, his shield Im immediately becomes recharging. And a lot of times you're swapping with your clone because, like, you're in trouble. Swap to your clone, they kill your clone, you escape. You're good to go, but then your shield's recharging, and then your cooldown's getting better. So, yeah. Again, synergy. Next, pocket full of grenades. After killing an enemy, Zane gains grenade regeneration for a few seconds. Also really cool. Um, <clears throat> and it's a kill skill, so at 15%, can go up with this to uh, 21%, which is much better. <clears throat> And if you can boost this, you can go a lot higher. There were, like, uh, Aurelia had, like, a 3 out of 3 skill that you could do plus 5 in the pre-sequel. I don't know how it's going to work with cons. We haven't seen them yet. But that can be really, really effective. And, our, like, a grenade short magazine spam. <clears throat> Next one, Old You. <laughs> Pressing... LB or RB on the controller during Fight for Your Life. If your Digi clone is active, destroy the clone and immediately gain a second wind. Very cool. So, that works. Next, this one is very sweet. So, whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased movement speed for each active action skill. So, if you have both of them active, this will give you 24% movement speed. And you can have, what, not that. This for another 20% movement speed. So that's 44% movement speed with both out. But then this would actually increase this to 28. So 28 plus 24, you are now 40, 52% movement speed without even boosting these skills. And you have this over here, which can give you another 11%. So 63 am I up to? Uh, yeah, so Zane can get really fast, and he can swap places with his clone. Like, that's going to be interesting. And if this bonus, because it goes at regular walk speed, if it goes higher at beyond regular walk speed, this damage is going to get crazy. And that's, like, super freaking interesting. I really want to see how all this plays together. But uh, a lot of people love movement speed, but if you combine this movement speed with slowing enemies with brain freeze, like, you're super fast, they're super slow, they can't hit you, win. I love it. Um, so yeah, next one, this is cool too, is like Matrixy. Uh, Zane and his Digi-Clone gain a chance to ignore bullets. This chance is increased for a few seconds after activating an action skill. The effect stacks, so... Uh, ignore bullet chance 
Uh, ignore bullet chance plus three percent. Um, after it's active, so yeah. So when you active, yeah. So twelve to fifteen. Uh, I think it's kind of like an absorb shield where it's, you don't absorb them, but the bullets just don't matter. They just go through you, which again helps your survival. It's a really cool and interesting skill. I'm totally into this. But this next one. This is really cool. So whenever Zane summons his Digiclone, it consumes up to three grenades. So you want to make sure you got three grenades when you do it. For every grenade consumed, the Digiclone gains increased gun damage, max health, fire rate, and reload speed. So your Digiclone becomes a bigger badass if you got three grenades when you activate them. Um, so 11% gun damage per grenade, so 33% gun damage. Um, max health plus 17%. That's going to go way up. Fire rate, 17% per grenade. Reload speed, 12. So your clone is going to do a lot more damage while he's out there. And the clone did pretty pretty decent damage. <clears throat> Next is Trick of the Light. Zane deals bonus shock damage to enemies that aren't targeting him. So the way this is worded makes this sound powerful. So bonus damage, 18% of damage dealt. Damage dealt is a very important word. Now, this one, bonus cryo damage up to 30%, that's not a damage dealt. So that's like splash damage, basically. So that would be gun damage plus additive buffs plus amp damage, if the formula is the same. And it wouldn't include a lot of multiplicative bonuses. But this is damage dealt. So this is like, um, not immolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immolate by Maya. So her fight for life fire skill that like people were using to destroy raid bosses before OP levels by getting their health down to zero, then getting crazy damage. So that was total damage dealt. So basically the way this is, whatever your gun does, this would do another 18% on top of your total damage, not on top of just like, your base damage, which is the way splash damage works. Like this would include crit damage every bonus you could imagine would go into this. And then if you have bonuses on top of it, so if you would, let's say you do 1,000 damage, or let's just do 100 damage. You do 100 damage, just to do 18%. Well, if you have skills that boost any of your damages, they would apply to this after that. So this can do that percent of your damage and then get remultiplied. So if the enemies are irradiated and take additional damage as like a debuff, this would get... That 100% damage would get that irradiated bonus, and then this would do 80% on top of that, and then this would get the irradiated bonus again. Or if you have a shock bonus, it would get the shock bonus again, like a, a shock bone of the ancients or whatever. So this has a potential to do a sick amount of damage. And with your clone and your sentinel, um, there's a very good chance enemies aren't targeting you, and I believe if they're frozen, uh, they're not always targeting you either, probably. So, yeah, massive, massive damage here, potentially. I'm not sure, but again, if you can boost it, it can, this thing might be sick. This might be his, like, big, powerful thing. And shields seem to be, like, a thing in this game, so getting rid of shields, also a big deal. Then next, the clone is equipped with a copy of Zane's current weapon when activated. Swapping places with a clone causes Zane and his clone to gain increased gun damage. Um, so the gun damage, 10%. Hopefully it's multiplicative because 10% is pretty low there. But the bigger deal is um, you can share that gun. Now, just putting a better gun in your clone's hand is cool. But what I would do is before I activate my clone, I would put a gun with radiation or cryo. So he's putting out cryo-freezing enemies, and you can just pick them off. Or he's irradiating enemies, making them weaker and debuffed. So he can kind of be your debuff. And you can give radiation to your drone, also debuffing enemies. So And then you have tons of cryo, so it's kind of like Axon's turrets, where you know they can slay the enemy so you can pick them off. Like You can use both of his drone and his clone. 
like two turrets out there and you can actually target the drone um to just really debuff the entire field and you can go and move around and pick them off or you can use one to freeze the field and one to do that but if you've got your cryo and mix it all together i mean the potential in the options are huge so uh yeah i love these but as you can see his skill trees are awesome like tons of sweet skills but not a ton of damage in here it almost reminds me of maya a little bit that like he's got a lot of awesome skills and a lot of crowd control a lot of survivability but he doesn't have that like zero just insane damage or sal insane damage unless i'm missing it oh shit i forgot to cover these so uh the equipables over here so binary system whenever zane swaps places with his clone a cryo nova is triggered around zane and his clone again cryo synergy just freeze everybody the it's so awesome i love this uh schadenfreud well, whenever a clone takes damage zane's shield is restored by a portion of that damage again cooldown synergy and just good survival but this one um doing that nova that's a big damage 1326 compared to like all these other damages we're seeing that's massive so that could be sweet very very sweet uh which one is reels real enemies are more likely to target the clone for a few seconds after summon and uh swap in places which works awesome with trick of the light so that could be sweet but you might just not need that so maybe not and then digital distribution when zane if zane takes health damage while the clone is active a portion of that damage is shared to his clone instead uh, i kind of like this one i think combined with trick of the light but we'll see so uh, if I'm going down this tree, God, I really like that duration. I'm letting your action skills do work, but I think I need my, uh, I think I need my gun damage because I don't have a lot of it. Um, I like the grenade thing, but I'm going to go damage because I think I need it. Now here I'm going to go grenade, and I don't know if I need that. Magazine size. I don't know if I don't know if I want that magazine size if I'm gonna go here. But I'm gonna just go get some duration. Wait, do I need one more? Yeah. Alright, so down here, that's a no-brainer. You're probably gonna need it. Uh it depends if I'm gonna go to grenade build. God, I like the movement speed. I'm a sucker. So I'm gonna finish that off. Definitely getting this. Uh, I like like a ghost, but I might not need it with all his other survival, so I'd go here. And yeah, that's good survival. With that, I don't need ghost, and then there. So that would probably be that build, the double agent. And if I'm going like a duration movement speed thing here, let's see, 29, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to go movement speed and gun damage here. I still want that. I don't know if I care about that. I want the life steal. So I don't have a ton of survival in this build. Fire rate is amazing. Now I got all the duration. I've got tons of movement speed. I'm at 62. So we might be past the level cap on this. Whoever the level cap is, maybe I don't need all this brain freeze, but I want it. I don't know. We'll see where uh, where where it all stops, but that's kind of something what I'm thinking about. You know, if we're gonna do like Borderlands Two, where you got like seventy two skill points or whatever, I would do another few points here. God, bonus cryo damage, yeah. So that's sixty five. And then I'd probably go further down this tree. I don't have a lot of gun damage. Mm. Yeah, I love those skills. So that would be 70 if that's cap. But who knows what it's going to be. So either way, let me know what you guys are thinking of Zane's skill trees. 
Uh, I think the insane damage boosts have been toned down a little bit, but the skills are a little more interesting, which is almost kind of like a Battleborn way of doing the skill trees. And I've been saying a long time they learned a lot from Battleborn, and this this seems pretty interesting. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all later. Bye.